Hey guys, Fishmonger here. Um, I've actually had uh, a bunch of people help me with beta testing, uh, 2.034 of uh, Fishmonger. And um, one person gave me a great set of advice because I was having problems with the, uh, the scaling on monitors that are 1440p and 4K. And what they said is that, you know, you might be able to trick Warcraft or trick Fishmonger into thinking that you have a 4K or 1440p monitor by changing your Warcraft window size to something larger than where I was normally at at 1080 and that actually worked. I was able to slide my monitor all the way to a widescreen, give myself a fat character there as you can see right there. Um, and I was able to conclude um, a lot of my testing internally that I was doing um, and I think I really did iron out the kinks uh, for a lot of the bugs that were coming up for people who had uh, the higher resolution monitors. So look for that in the latest version of 2.034, which should be coming out. Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have it compiled and ready to go. So to backtrack a little bit, the main error that a lot of people have been getting is this error invalid option. As you can see, it says specifically W and H, and it's a GUI error with the width and the height scaling because Fishmonger was improperly figuring things out on monitors with resolutions higher than 1080p. So the way to solve this is to come into your Fishmonger folder. There's a little data folder here inside Fishmonger. Um, there's a file called Fishmonger leg. This is an, a configuration file. It just holds a whole bunch of configuration data. You want to delete this, okay? Deleting this and then starting Fishmonger again will revert everything back to the default. It just it's one of the things that Fishmonger does. It has default settings built into it, and with no configuration file, it brings everything back to the defaults. The kicker is you want to make sure that Warcraft is closed um, when you open uh, it back, when you open Fishmonger back up again, because the defaults it needs to load are the defaults for no Warcraft being open. So you can see I have no Warcraft window open on my computer. I can open this up. It's going to load Fishmonger. Um, it's going to move everything into the top left hand corner of the, the window, which is perfectly fine because that's where the default locations are. And you can see my fishmonger leg data uh, file is actually back again. It just created it again. So the workaround for this error is just to delete that fishmonger configuration file, um, reload fishmonger with Warcraft closed, and then once uh, fishmonger is loaded, you can then open up Warcraft, it's perfectly fine, and then rearrange your windows and everything. You're just going to have to start it in that order for the time being until the next version comes out, which hopefully should fix everything. In addition to um, fixing some other bugs, I, I do have the bait for vanilla Warcraft or Classic WoW. Um, it looks like it's up and running uh, and working good right now. Um, I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to show you the default setups for Classic WoW with Fishmonger. One of the things you have to understand is when Fishmonger first came out, Classic WoW wasn't a thing, so all the defaults and everything I had kind of set up was for retail. Uh, it was Battle for Azeroth, and then prior to that, it was a uh, different version of uh, Fishmonger, or a different version of Warcraft. Um, but now, with Classic WoW, um, a lot of those defaults are going to have to get changed, um, so you need to make sure you do that before you start fishing in Classic to really get the best results. So I'm going to fire up Fishmonger here. Uh, the default settings right now, basically, it kind of threw everything up into the corner over there, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to slide things around so we can see stuff a little bit better. I'm going to bring window 2 more towards the middle, window 3 down here. So into the advanced options, first thing you're going to want to change, go into the miscellaneous settings here and put it to vanilla Warcraft. Um, that's going to change the bobber detection. It's going to make it so it's looking for the splash instead of the bobber movement. And I'll show you over here. This is going to get grayed out in a second. And it's also going to change a couple of other things under the hood as far as uh, Fishmonger and what it's expecting. So changes over to Vanilla Warcraft. Come over to the searching and tracking. The search index max, because Classic WoW takes longer to fish, the fishing timer is longer, we're going to want to increase this from 70 to somewhere around 100, 105. Um, somewhere in that general range should work for you. Everything else here is, you know, really you can leave it as is or change it as you need it. It doesn't really matter. So that should get you pretty much up and running as far as Fishmonger goes for the default settings you would need for classic WoW. Go into the interface options here in Warcraft itself. Make sure auto loot's on, and then also make sure that the auto loot key is set to none. That is important. You can't just have auto loot on. You have to make sure the loot key is set to none. You can see I've got my fishing skill um, down here on, is actually on the number one key. It's not the fishing pole, it's the fishing skill. So make sure it's down and, and bounced to number one. From there, you can find yourself an area to fish where you've got a nice, oops, a nice dark area inside this search window. And you want to find an area where you can cast and you get a nice dark bobber 
and dark feather. So you can see here, when I highlight it, it's nice and bright. When I don't highlight it, it's dark. You're looking for dark. You can start with a color sensitivity, you know, anywhere in like the 30s to 50s to 70s to even to 100 works pretty good. It all depends on the colors that you got in there. But if you're not sure where to start, start it in the lowest possible, okay? And what this is going to do, on the lowest possible, it's going to say, hey, only look for really, really bright white splashes. Don't really look for anything else in there. Just look for the bright white splash. Um, and if you do that, and it, if you've cast, and it doesn't see anything, you want to increase your color sensitivity up a little bit more, um, and then basically try casting again. Basically, it's going to uh, enlarge the threshold for the splash detection. The further right you go, the more different colors of splashes it'll see. You can obviously see it saw that one there. Didn't have any issue. Uh, let's see what it does on the other one. Saw that one too, no problem. So in this case, 10 actually is working really good. Just so happens that I'm in an area where it's really dark in the search window and the splash itself is very bright. You're looking for a large contrast between the splash and everything else in the search window to really maximize fish monitor. Found that one there too, no issues with that. I'm gonna stop this here. I don't really need to roll with this through any longer, but so one of the other things I am checking out in 2.034 right now, which hopefully will be released by the end of the week uh, like i said is the ability to add bait all right um and i know this works of course i don't have any bait right now to use but basically you would just pick uh whatever kind of lure you're looking to put on your pole um you can basically say apply it every x amount of minutes or you can use a variable loot timer to say i want to apply a lure between let's say 10 minutes and 12 minutes or 13 minutes or whatever what that does is make you look a little bit less like a robot looks a little bit more like a human um, I do like the variable lure timer option. I am going to be looking in some other versions of Fishmonger to also do variable casting and a whole bunch of other variable things. I want to be able to make Fishmonger look as less like a robot as possible. You know, make sure you stay subscribed. Hit the little bell icon below. This is Fishmonger. I'm signing out. Catch you on the flip side.